Um, so once once I either decide I'm going to start with a square block and drill my holes, or turn it around and then drill my holes, I <coughs> drill a, a um, I find the center which is already there, and I this is going to pretend this is a square block that's six or eight or twelve inches long. It doesn't make any difference. I'll pass that around. I drill a hole or I mark my center. That. And I'll take the compass and I'm going to draw a half inch radius, one inch circle, and where those points intersect, that's where I'm going to drill my holes. So I'll pass this around. And that five eighths of an inch is where you're going to put a cut that's going to get you down to the holes. Now those holes, as you can see, you can see them in there, and the ones that's being passed around, you're going to end up having to put something inside of them called a reed. So you want to end up with about three, uh, uh, one third of the holes showing. You're going to need to have about one third of the holes showing here. So when you put your reeds in, you'll be able to do it, make the tones. So that's what I'm going to do first, now that I've gotten to that point, because again, everybody can turn the cylinder. No, not really. They all seem to work. 
Mm -hmm. As long as you're roughly two thirds on yeah. one side and one third on the other side of the dollar. Okay. And the length isn't going to make any difference. These I cut off uh, five, uh, five eighths of an inch long because my length here is five eighths. All right. If you want it to go three quarters, cut your beads to three quarters. If you want to go half inch, make them half inch. Yes. I just, can you clarify when you put the reed in, uh, and it shows on the other side of the hole? Is it the beginning of that hole or the end of that hole? It's coming out. Let's see. Uh, the old exacto knife. Turn it around. Maybe it's your bed. There you go. There you go. It's coming out right to here, to the ship, this, this edge here. Okay. That's the first second read. You got two tones now. And like I said, normally I would glue these in, but they're fitting pretty tight. There's no reason to. They're not going to move, I don't think. It will just continue to insert these. Size of these holes and probably re drill it a little bit. But didn't think about that. So I got the third one in. I don't know which one it is now because I didn't mark it. <laughs> so I got three out of four so good so far. Did you hold one of those reeds up in front of the camera and oh, sharpen sure. it a little bit? So did you sure. Around? Uh, there's, 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 like, there's coming around. It's one one coming around. It's coming around. Yeah, but okay. he's talking to that side and skinny side. I don't want to see the part. That's the skinny so side. So cut in half. Basically, it's cut, it's cut in half. It's sanded in half. And that's the fact. So I got four tones now. I should have done that before. I didn't have to chuck it. Oh, well. Details, details. Details, details. Again, the order you're doing it in doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. You just got to get it done. Sometimes I'll do a uh, three eighths. I don't remember what I put in this one. I think this one's got a three eighths hole in it. Going to get a little more air through a three eighths than you are going to be from a five sixteenths. It really, again, doesn't make any difference um, what size you use. And this is a scrap that I had laying around, and I'd like to scrap it. <laughs> And I, you know, and when I thought about doing this, to, and it was this morning when I woke up, I go, you're a dummy. You should have brought the other piece, and again, I forgot it at home. Then I could have put the other half of this on this end and turned it, just to have a different finale, uh, finial on it. And I probably will do that at home anyway. But. So now you've got to make an air chamber on this thing. So... To do an air chamber, all you're going to do is going to true this up, true this out, and you're going to hollow it out a little bit. Just a tad. 
if you want a tight fit. You want a reasonably tight fit, you're still going to glue it. <coughs> but you don't want it slow. I need to make this chair chamber a little bit bigger because I'm not getting enough air through. You can hear it. So I'm going to make it just a tad bigger. You said there was, what, a 3 8 hole? I think this one has a 3 8 But I don't think I'm quite deep enough into the air chamber to make it work well. And that's just... Yeah, it's just playing around with it until you get one that works. So really, when you blow, you're blowing through the three reeds, right, at the same time? Four reeds. Four yeah. reeds at four the same reeds. time. That's the idea is to blow through all four reeds at the same time. And I'm going to try to make that just a pitch deeper. Chamber is going to be in that area, and I don't want to get too small. 
um, too narrow there, but I can take a little bit down. Different shapes I just passed around. Um, not much to it, but there's a lot to it. And a lot of fun to make. Uh, pretty simple. Doesn't take a lot of time. And uh, any questions?